Pod, Andrew here, bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be doing Batwoman, issue number three. Take a look at this comic cover right here. Now, where we last left off on issue number two, Batwoman was searching for the Weeping Woman, or at least I think that's what her name is. Basically, it's a ghost woman that goes around and steals children. Why we're never really given too much of an explanation. Maybe that's just her thing. It's kind of creepy, but whatever. We'll just let her do whatever. Anyways... Issue number three starts off with Batwoman being pulled under into the water by the Weeping Woman. And she's starting to get flashes from her sister. Uh, who, if you remember reading Batwoman Elegy, which was the detective issue collection of uh, Batwoman's comic, is that her sister was knocked out and uh, presumably killed and was a victim of falling into the ocean. At least I believe it was the ocean. Could be wrong. It's been a while since I read Elegy. But the fact of the matter remains is she's seen visions of her sister and is tweaking her out. Uh, she eventually finds a way out of this weeping woman. However, not only does she get out, but she is then proceeded to be pursued by the government. Because remember that evil lady is out to get Batwoman because she feels like it. Uh, apparently she's working with Black Mask, but we'll deal with that later. Anyways, Batwoman is just emotionally distraught, goes back and fires Flame Bird, and this prompts Flame Bird to basically give her the finger and go out and put her old school costume on and do her own vigilante work. However, is this a wise idea? Should Flame Bird go out and do vigilante work? Is Batwoman emotionally uh, stable enough to go out and be a superhero? And is she going to make some bad decisions when she is not emotionally stable? And in the end, who's really out to get Batgirl? Who's the one behind all this masterminding plot? Is the Weeping Woman working with Black Mask? Who's working with this government kind of lady? You never know. You're just going to have to read and see. Let's get into the good, the bad, and whether or not you should get it. Good. Uh, I like the fact that Flame Bird's actually getting her costume. Uh, I like that. That is good. I hope I see more of that. Um, and I like to see a little bit more of this vulnerable side from Batwoman. Uh, and her relationship with Maggie Sawyer is developing pretty nicely. Uh, bad. <sighs> I really don't know what to feel about this issue. It felt as though not much happened, although a lot did happen. Uh, I guess what I'm saying is the things that did happen were big and important. But besides that, it doesn't feel like too, too much happens. Um... In addition to that, I'm not really digging any of the villains that show up here. At first, I thought I would like the Weeping Woman, but they really haven't done anything with her. At all. Um, Batwoman really hasn't fought her. At all. Black Mask isn't really doing anything. At all. It feels as though the villains are lackluster. Um, besides that, Batwoman issue number three is an okay issue. Uh, the series is, for the most part, good. However, this issue has been... Uh, I give it a three, but uh, that's really the most I would give it. I wouldn't put it any lower because it wasn't bad. Like I said, a lot of good stuff happens there. I like the development with Maggie Sawyer and their relationship with uh, uh, Cat Kane, and I also like the fact that Betty is getting her costume. Uh, but there's a few things that's holding this series back from being as good as it was when it was this, uh, because this was a really good uh, Batwoman series. This has the potential to be that kind of Batwoman series, but it still needs uh, some work. And uh, a lot of people are in love with the series, but I think it's just a lot of the hype is making people in love with the series. Um, I'm finding the characters are the most enjoyable part, but the villains are the, really the weakest part. Uh, so hopefully we can get a little bit better. But it was on a whole an okay issue, and uh, I definitely recommend picking it up if you are a Batwoman fan. Uh, so I'm going to end this review here. This is Andrew saying peace out for now.